reverb time. Uh, one of the most, uh, uh, so almost the first word we learn about when we start learning about acoustics. Um, another one comes up, which is called um, early decay time, EDT. And what's the difference between the two? Um, early decay time, uh, if the reverb time is linear, in other words, the sound level goes up in the room and then it decays in a straight line, then the early decay time is just a proportion of the reverb time. Uh, the reverb time is how long it takes for the sound level to drop 60 dB. The early decay time uh, might be the top 10 dB. And how long does that take to uh, decay out? Well, one-sixth of how long it takes to de decay to 60 dB. So if, if the early decay time is just a fraction of the long decay time, then there's no point to looking at the early decay time or the long decay time because they're essentially the same. But in the real world, um, uh, that's not always the case. In the real world, what frequently will happen is the sound level, when the sound stops in a room, uh, the sound level immediately drops very quickly, drops to some level, uh, maybe 5 dB less than how loud it was when the sound was turned on in the room. And then it starts to decay like a, the reverb time. So in other words, the sound level is loud, and then it turns off, and then it goes into the reverb decay. That rapid drop in sound level is can be measured, and that's the early decay time. And it's very important to have early decay time that is... Um, much faster than the normal reverb time. The sound level is constant, then the sound is stopped. Then there's a, a rapid decay for a certain amount of dB, and then there's a slow decay, which is your RT60. And so that, that initial drop, I know I'm repeating myself, is uh, goes along with things that are extremely important to us as listeners such as clarity. Uh, it also is extremely important when it comes to intelligibility for speech, clarity for music. The energy in the uh, first uh, early decay time and the, and, the, and the rate of the early decay time determines the uh, clarity of the signal. The human uh, 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 likes the background noise to be quiet and wants a strong direct signal. And uh, the human listener also can handle and integrate and or gather um, up to, you know, 35, up to 50 milliseconds maybe of, of uh, energy and all associate all that energy with the direct signal. So it really makes the direct signal louder to have uh, a lot of energy at first and then have it drop down and then start the normal reverb time. Uh, so this business of uh, early decay time uh, versus uh, re RT60 reverb time is a big deal and uh, it's used throughout the industry uh, and is a critical component in designing rooms and, and defining quality, musical or, or speech playback quality in the rooms.